at this table and you need to get in front of this judge, the best thing for you to do is shake, move your hand past where the judge is like this. You just want to get the dog on the other side. That's your only goal. The dog doesn't have to be here. The dog doesn't have to be anywhere specific. It just has to be far enough away so when you back up, you don't step on your dog. That's the only purpose of this right here. Okay. And when you get to the point where you're standing in front of this judge, if you're de directly in front, you have a situation where if you're too close, you're in their bubble. Yeah. And that's uncomfortable. And it's like, and if you get to the point where you're too far away, then your dog's going to be too far away. So your dog's going to start and be straight too far back. So you have to kind of find a happy medium. You have to make it smooth. So you have your dog, either you come across here or you take your dog across here. It gives you more, a little more room. Practice with both, see what you're most comfortable with. Get your dog past and then put your hand in front and see where my palm direction mm -hmm. is. I'm shaking my hand, I'm walking backwards, I'm right where the mat is you're going to be able to see a mat coming away from your judge so you know when you're in the center you want your palm and you to be on the center of that mat because your dog's going to follow you when you step away your hand will be at the center of this mat and you continue on now if your dog is too far over to the side then you need to move over a little you need to adjust because you know your hand is here right I get to this end, shake my hand, walk backwards, step away from my hand, and bring my hand back to my judge. Simple. I'm coming back to the judge. I want my dog to stop here. Let's say I'm coming back to a non-baiting judge. So I'm gonna slow my dog down. I'm gonna get in front, lean forward, walk backwards, and stand. That's where I want my dog to be, stay. When I step away, my judge has a clear shot at my dog right there. Again, people freak out because you're blocking your dog right here. But this is training. This is to get your dog to learn how to be straight right here. If you have a judge like Stephen Keating where that judge wants to see the dog directly in the center, this will be perfect for a judge like that stay step off to the side like this the judge sees the dog perfectly on the center if you're coming back to a non-baiting judge your dog is fully trained you've done this quite a few times then you'll change this process a little you're coming back to the judge slow down you're going to get in front lean forward walk backwards and stand so now my dog is still on the mat but at a slight angle where the judge can still see the expression. See the difference there? Mm -hmm. The problem is, is if you train like this in the beginning, it's going to be very difficult to get your dog to go like this because they're going to expect to do this all the time. But since you're doing lots of free stacks, when you go like this, you can get your dog to move to any position you want. Mm -hmm. Plus the fact that you're doing the training targets and stuff like that. Start off like this, put it out of your head, you're blocking the judge, and then as you start to get better with your dog, then you can come at it at an angle, okay? If you're doing the same exercise, a down and back, and it's to a baiting judge, at this point, you're gonna come back to your judge, your judge is gonna get the attention of the dog. Once they connect the judge and your dog, then you're just gonna kind of drift off to the side. You're gonna let that dog hit to the end of that six foot lead and figure out where you want them to stop and you're just gonna stand off to the side like this. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be right here where the judge can see because then yeah. you're a distraction. Yeah. You want to be off to the side like this so the judge is looking at your dog but not you. So you're slowly letting that leash out to the end of that six feet in order to do this. Take that hand. Good. Very nice. That yes. was perfect. Yes. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Good girl. 
Good job. Yay. Latia. Latia. Good girl, Latia. Oh, good. And then, after the judge sees everything they need to see, you have to be walking and gathering up your leash here so you can get the dog past the judge. And now, when the judge says, take this dog around, you do the same thing as the pattern, but now you take off in this direction. So it's always backing away. You're backing away from here, you're backing away from there. Now, let's say your judge says, let me see a triangle. A regular triangle is gonna be on the perimeter and then coming down the diagonal. So you get your dog past, walk backwards, step away from your hand, take your dog to this edge, shake your hand, turn. Shake your hand, straight. Now here, if, you, if you're making a turn greater than 90 degrees, you're gonna back away from the corner. If you try to make a turn like this, that's just way too much, and your dog's doing this. Okay. So greater than 90 degrees, <clears throat> I come into this corner, back away, step away from my hand, and now it's just like a down and back, coming back to the judge, whether it's a baiting judge or non-baiting judge. That's a regular triangle. Woo Very nice. Yay. Keep your hand low. Good. Oh, that was a beautiful turn. Look. Beautiful turn. Yay. Very nice. Beautiful. Yes. yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> Good girl. Yay. See how a reverse triangle is going to be the opposite. You start off on the diagonal, you take your perimeter around, and then come back to the judge. So here I'm coming off the table, get my dog passed, shake my hand, step away, and off I go. I'm gonna come into this corner, but this time when I back up, I'm gonna turn like this and grab with my right hand. When I grab with my right hand, that gives me the ability to be on this side and the judge doesn't have an obstructed view of my dog. When I come into this corner, I'm gonna let my dog go past me. I'm gonna grab with my left hand, come back to my judge. So here, as I'm coming back to my judge, then I'll do my finish of baiting or non-baiting judge. Mm -hmm. Reverse triangle. Reverse triangle? Reverse triangle. Thank you. Big smile. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. look at this. Uh, uh, uh. Good. Very nice. Good. Very yes, yes, nice. yes, yes, yes. Good. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, a little fumbling. Yes, 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 yes. Latia. Latia. Ooh, <laughs> good girl. Hey. If the judge says, I want an L, I get my dog past, back away, dog is straight, step away from my hand, just like the regular triangle now. So an L pattern, I'm gonna come backwards like this, turn and go. See, this is just like the reverse triangle. Shake my hand, Come over here, come back to my judge, baiting or non-baiting judge. So those are the basic patterns that you have to practice. I would practice them on lead, practice off lead, practice in your left hand, practice in your right hand, um, and give you an opportunity so when you're practicing gating and communicating with your dog, the dog knows that whatever hand is holding the leash is the hand to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. Your techniques are perfect. Your technical skills are fantastic. Now we just got to add fun. Jumping, playing, laughing, no crying. <laughs> no crying. <laughs> my name is Eric Sellers, and I got my own 
way He's Eric Sellers and he's got his own way My name is Eric Sellers and I do my own thing He's Eric Sellers and he does his own thing His name is Eric Sellers and he'll help you in the ring He's Eric Sellers and he'll help you in the ring My name is Eric Sellers you got to believe in your dog Your dog's the best, most beautiful dog in the world My name is Eric Sellers Do target training with your dog With target training, you're the cookie for your dog Use beer and eggs to bathe with For the beauty of your dog Beer and eggs for the beauty of your dog My name is Eric Sellers your palm will talk to your dog Lean over to walk backwards Stand up to stack your dog My name is Eric Sellers Ah, gets attention from your dog Don't you look down, don't you dare look down at your dog To be successful You got to connect with your dog His name is Eric, he'll teach you harmony with your dog My name is Eric Sellers you got to sell it to the judge. You got to vent away to the judge. His name is Eric Sellers. Good gate square up and head straight. Good gate square up and head straight with your dog. You got to know the breed standard to truly understand your dog. With Eric's training, you'll find harmony with your dog. His name is Eric Sellers. Eric says he got the dawn. Eric says he got the dawn. Eric says. Eric says he got the dawn. Eric says.